Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box, and today I have a fun birthday cookie tutorial for you. I love multi-cutters, cutters that cut more than one cookie at a time, and I think cookie sets are super cute. So today's tutorial combines those two ideas. We have a multi-cutter that creates a really cute birthday cookie set. Let's cookie it up. This multi-cutter is super fun. It's one cutter that cuts three cookies. And you can find this cutter on flowerbox.com or if you are a Flower Box Club member, you already have it. This cutter makes the cake base, the cake banner, and the balloon topper, and this is super festive. You could probably use this for graduations, weddings, or even a retirement. You can personalize with a name or age. The possibilities are endless. Let's start with the cake base. I'm going to outline each section using piping icing and tip number two. If you need a referral on how to make icing consistencies, check out the Cookies 101 blog post on flowerbox.com for the icing recipe and some tips on piping and flooding. First, we're going to flood in the main section of the cake, and we'll allow that to dry for about an hour in front of the fan and come back and flood in that pink drippy icing. Now, one thing that I love about this cookie set is that it is only three colors, pink, white, yellow, and sky blue, but we're gonna add a pop of color with these rainbow nonpareils. They're super fun, colorful, and they don't add a lot of work to this cookie design. I like to allow that pink icing to set up for about 60 seconds before I put the nonpareils on the surface of the icing so they don't sink too far into the icing itself. Now we're almost done with the cake base. We're just going to flood in the platter using the yellow icing and then we'll let those areas dry. The details on this cake are super easy. I'm going to add five sky blue loops and I'm using tip number two. Then I'll pipe a line where the dripping icing meets the cake. This just accentuates that section and brings it to the foreground. And then finally, I switch tips on my pink icing to a star tip number 13 and pipe that classic shell border. I love that chunky icing, it's delicious. Now let's take a look at the banner section of this cookie set. I'm going to outline the white banner and I just bring those sides down right to where the sides of the ribbon meet the cookie and pipe those left and right ribbons. And I'm gonna flood those in first because they're in the background. We'll let those dry and we'll come back in and flood generously that center section. To add a little interest to this cookie, I'm going to stencil a mini Harlequin pattern onto the background of this banner. I have a mixture of pearl and blushing pink airbrush color, and I mix the two together to create a pastel pink. Now I'm going to clip the mini Harlequin stencil into my stencil genie and use my airbrush machine to add that pattern to the icing area. Now I wanna make sure that the stencil is touching the icing, just so that the color doesn't sneak up and under the stencil, creating a blurry image. So if it's not touching, flip your stencil genie to the other side, and that thinner side will bring that stencil nice and close to the surface of the icing. I'm keeping my airbrush gun nice and vertical as I spray down that pastel pink color. If you need to brighten it up, just hit it one more time. Then you're ready to rock that stencil to the right and reveal the pattern. Now for this cookie, I am piping a happy birthday message and I'm using a Kodak Luma cookie projector and I've put the happy birthday graphic into the projector to guide the piping of the letters. I have a tip number one on my icing bag. 
I'm using really light hand pressure as I work through those letters and my piping icing has a nice soft peak flow to it. If your icing is too thick when you're piping letters, the icing will be brittle and break. But if your icing is too thin, it's hard to keep those letters looking distinct. So finding that middle ground, that soft peak piping icing is perfect for piping the ideal letters on cookies. You can find this happy birthday graphic on flowerbox.com on this birthday cake and balloons cookie set tutorial and you can download it for free. Okay, so that's the hard part. Now that that's over, we're just going to add the two little supports that are poking into our cake to hold up that banner. I'm going to outline using the yellow icing and I will flood in these areas, but first I'll add a piped line. That will really reduce or eliminate any cracks or craters from forming in these small icing areas. I'm using the pink flood icing to add some stripes to these supports and that just gives them a little extra birthday flair. For our final cookie in this set, I'm going to do our balloons. I pipe a small icing guide dot in the center using my pink piping icing and then I loop up and around to create that first balloon. Add your yellow balloon and your blue, all using your piping icing with tip number two. I'm going to flood in the balloon in the background first using my sky blue icing. I'll add a white highlight and then I'm gonna add itty bitty little dots of icing. I'm not even squeezing my bag. I'm just letting those icing drops fall onto the surface of the cookie from gravity. Let that balloon dry in the background and then you're ready to come back in and flood the pink and the yellow balloon in the foreground. Again, I'm going to flood in those balloons nice and generously, add the highlight and the polka dots. This is the easiest cookie of the three in this set and it comes together nice and quickly. Now packing these cookies is a lot of fun. This cookie set fits perfectly in the seven inch window box from BRP Box Shop. I also used an eight inch cookie bag to pack in these individual cookies as a set and they all fit perfectly into the box. I hope you enjoy making these special cookies for those that you love celebrating all year long in cookies. To find this cutter and more details about the color palette and how to make these cookies, definitely check out the blog post on flowerbox.com. Until next time, happy decorating.